Hi guys, um, today we're going to do a run with the T500 reflux condenser still using the grain father as the boiler. Um, something I haven't done yet, so it's new to me, but it shouldn't be any different to running it with the normal boiler that you get with the T500. Um, just got a little bit more control, which would be awesome. Um, I'm also going to do a full run through of how we use um, the T500 and setup. Um, and my little tips that I've done, I've worked out um, through using my still, which is considerably old now, and it work, works absolutely fine still. Um, yeah, so first of all, just a little rundown of the equipment I'm using. So obviously, there we go. I've got the grain, um, grain farmer. I've taken the um, the grain basket out, obviously, because we're not doing any, we're not running any grains for this. Um, uh, the reflux still there, and um, I've got my wine there. Uh, um, I've got my ceramic beads there that um, I'll put into the bottom of the still to stop the surge boiling. Um, I've got uh, just a 60 litre um, fermenter that I use as my hot water reservoir so I don't waste it, I can use it to clean it. Also, we've also got a spa pool so I normally just use the hot water to top up the spa pool which is pretty cool. And that's going to be my, that's my, going to be my heart collection. Lastly, remember you need to have your distilling conditioner uh, which I, I only put um, one level head of the um, cap into my my mix. Uh, lastly, that is my um, the water re reservoir regulator. So probably the first thing we need to start with is I'll put the wine into the fermenter and we'll uh, get it going. So I'll do that first. I'm gonna pour all the um, all my brew, all my wine into the fermenter, and we'll go from there. So put the um, little bit of the conditioner in. And I've just sanitised my beads, just because I could. Um, just a little bit of sanitizer I sprayed on. I'm just going to throw that in. I don't know why I'm trying to put the sanitizer in. It's going to harm anything. Those are in. Okay guys, so I'm just going to plug the grain farther in now. There we go. So we've got power. Okay guys, so um, now I'm actually going to put the um, condenser still on top and then they're all connected. So I'll just put the steel on top, make sure it's nice and connected. Cool, so that's the steel on top. I'm gonna turn my um, I'm gonna turn my two thermometers on, which are just up here. Just a little button on the back, turn them on. One, two. So now I've got both the grain father temperature controller there, so I can read the temperature of what my wine is, which is something I've not had before, which is really cool. And I've got my two thermometers, one for, one for the top, which will read in my, um, my um, vapor point, and one for the bottle, which is going to read my water temperature for my water going out. Cool. So that's all clicked on. Um, let's get the piping on. So, okay, so connecting the pipes. If you've run the still, you'll know this before. This one here is the um, actual output of our ethanol when we start, what we start collecting from. On the bottom here is our cold water in. And on the side here is our cold, um, well, hot water out once it's passed through the still. So, so it's just a little um, blue mark that I've put on the um, the pipe so that I know this is to my cold water in. And I'll just put that into the bottom there. Nice and tight. And then the other one I know is my hot water out. So, and then the last one is a kind of harder pipe, um, which is just going to go on the output. Okay, so we're going to connect the uh, cold water to my um, water reservoir controller. Uh, this is from Still Spirits, I think I remember right here, so long ago. Put that nice and tightly on, and just an awesome. Okay, and then we're just going to uh, connect the pipe to the sink, uh, to the tap, like so. And then I'm just going to put the tap on. And there we go. I can leave this valve open because I don't need to regulate the temperature because the because the um, the reservoir will actually stop the water. I just I should just mention that I should mention that um, when running the uh, reservoir, the reservoir. 
onboarded regulator. Um, it's got a, like a little plug. I just leave that disconnected, and then just basically punch it in when it's time to uh, start using it, and it'll start pumping water into the still. So when you're kind of starting to get the temperature, the temperature's slowly starting to creep up. Good way to check if how hot you are is just to check the tap. Obviously, it should be hot, so be careful when you do it. And I can kind of tell where we're at. So it's just kind of just about to start hitting the uh, thermometer. It's still cold there, but we're about to get the t temperature to start to ramp up very soon. Just about to get to temperature, so just plug that in. The valve is still closed, but it's just getting in. So we're kind of at temperature now, it's, everything's starting to come out. Just started to flow the water, and we're just about to start collecting our, um, our heads. So I'm just adjusting this finely to try and get the right flow rate. Okay guys, so we've started collecting now. So we've got a nice steady temperature now in the, uh, in the 55s. Let's it down a little bit, but a yeah, nice steady temperature. I don't really like going any higher than 79, and I like to stick around 55 to 56 if I can. So kind of bang in the middle of what I like. Okay guys, so I'm happy that we've uh, pretty much finished doing this run. Um, so we'll just go through the process of shutting everything down and how we can cool it down and do cleanup. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is we'll uh, switch the boiler off, and switch the grain fiber off. And then the next thing I'll do is I'll stop collecting and we'll just stop. Just put that like that and we'll just collect anything that's left and we'll throw it away. But just so it doesn't drip on the floor. Okay, so we need to keep this running because if we turn it off now, the actual condenser will overheat from the wine in the grain fiber. It's still at you know, a hot temperature up in the 90s. So we've just got to keep this running until everything cools down. And once that's done, we can actually stop it. As you can see, we've um, collected a reasonable amount of water in the 60 litre um, fermenter. I have actually tapped a bunch of it off into the sparkle, um, but yep, yeah, we'll use that to clean everything up. Okay, so that's what we've collected. It's probably about two and a half litres to three litres there. I haven't measured it out yet, but I will do. Um, it's obviously going to be up in the 90% at the moment, so one of the first things we'll do in a bit is cut it and get it down to about 40%. As you can see, now that we turned the boiler off, the temperatures are starting to drop on the um, two thermometers on the, on the condenser. Uh, yeah, so once they're a little bit cooler, I can probably take the lid off and start to try and cool down the leftovers in the grain farmer. Okay. Turn the pump off. That should be enough. Right, so I'm just going to disconnect the water from the regulator. Over here. But actually, one of the great things is it's got a little valve on the back. You can empty the water out. So, okay, so I've just disconnected all the pipes now. I'm just letting it cool down. So Okay, so just let that cool down for a little bit longer before I can handle it and throw it away.